Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, September 1st. It's a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Cool weather in the morning has really gotten uh, to the point where it's very cool. Just just beautiful time of year. This this early transition into fall is probably my, my favorite season, followed by fall. I, I really do like fall. Um, and college football has begun, and Temple had a great first game, um, beating Bucknell, I think that was right. Uh, not not a great accomplishment, really. Uh, no offense to, to, to Bucknell, but uh, seemed to be a bit of a mismatch in that game. But it was great to see them uh, see them take the first game. So I was happy about that. And next week uh, it's the NFL, so we're we're moving right along into into fall and fall sports. So this is the way the uh, the cycle continues. So not a lot to talk about today. I've uh, I've been busy this weekend. Um, fortunately, what I've been busy with is uh, is very exciting. It's it's the uh, work I've been doing on the shop. I am getting to the point where my next step is to paint the walls, and I, I went and bought the uh, dry lock paint today. So I'm going to be waterproofing the walls. Um, the section that I'm starting on is not too bad, so I should be able to get it done pretty quickly. And then uh, my goal is to get some benches in there, move all the pipe. That that corner is going to become the pipe corner. Uh, so I'm going to be doing all the pipe repair over there. Uh, it's probably where I'm going to be shooting these videos from in the future. And once that's finished, then I basically have broken the basement into four quadrants. So once that's finished, I'll move on to the next quadrant and eventually have the whole thing uh, completed. But uh, I want to get a working pipe section up as quickly as possible because I want to get the shop back open again and start to do some more uh, restoration videos for, for you guys. So I'm hoping with the space I've got, I'm going to be able to set up a section of the bench that's just for um, restoration videos. So I'll be able to actually... Uh, have a, have a filming area where the camera is permanently mounted, or at least there's a permanent mount for the camera. I can take it on and off, and uh, that'll that'll help a lot because the way things have been, I've always had to sort of set up and then break everything down. And uh, if I'm working on multiple pipes, it sometimes is very difficult to, to actually do any video work. So this way, I'll have a section for just sort of the day-to-day -day pipe work, and then another section for. Uh, the, the pipes that I'm working on that I want to uh, share the process with you on. So, yeah, should be good. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Just the lights are, are fantastic. It's just so nice to have such bright lights. And I'm going to initially paint the walls white and then see how that looks. I've got to do two coats of this dry lock. Um, first coat I'm just going to leave white, and if it's too bright I may uh, tint it to like a, a tannish color. Uh, but, but right now I'm going to, going to go with the white and see what that looks like. It's uh, it's going to be interesting because I've been looking at cinder block walls for a very long time now, so we'll we'll see how that that all turns out. Uh, enjoying my uh, Hercules XL with haunted bookshop. Uh, no, no, <laughs> Carter all today, and uh, it's it's quite good. Always enjoy some Carter Hall. Yesterday, when I was working down here, I've got um, a big tub of Mixture 79 back behind me. One of the one of those Carter Hall tins that you see back there is actually Mixture 79. That that one right there. And I, uh, I I got a bowl of it, and I realized that I only have one or two bowls left of Mixture 79. I thought, wow, that's that's hard to believe because I I don't smoke it that often, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's it disappeared pretty quickly, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to restock that, and uh, yeah, just keep. It's one of the it, it's a, a shop blend for me. Not that I don't enjoy it other times. It's just one of those tobaccos. There's just I just love it, and it it just smokes easy, and I can I can enjoy it while I'm doing something else. You don't have to think about it. Of course, if you want to, there's a lot to think about, but it's it's just in my opinion, it's just a great working tobacco. Huh? 
So the, the benches I'm going to build, I'm actually going to build a large section of bench which is just going to be a work surface for the pipe work. And I'm not going to over engineer that. I, ha I have uh, some wood that I reclaimed from the shelf. I think I'm going to make a pretty basic bench for that. Put some drawers in it, but it's just going to be a basic work surface because you don't really, when you're doing pipe work, you're not really pounding on the pipes or anything. Uh, you just need a place to hold your tools and, you know, to, to lean on once in a while. But I also want to make a bench next to that for my my metal lathe, and that that is going to be over-engineered a bit. Uh, so that I still need to get the wood for, and, and uh, I've got it pretty well planned now. But, uh, you know, until you start building something, you never quite know. Uh, what, well, I never quite know what I'm going to wind up with in the end, because I... I don't really work from drawings very well. I, I tend to, you know, I sketch it out and I get rough dimensions, then I make a part and I see how that fits and then add to that. So it, it kind of grows. Uh, it's not organically. I mean, I've got a plan, but it, it's not, it doesn't always turn out exactly the way I thought it would when I start. So, but that's going to have to be a big, heavy, probably laminated top uh, bench because the I need something very stable for the, for the lathe. But the, the rest of it's going to be pretty simple. And uh, I'm hoping in a few weeks' time we'll be open up again. And I'll be able to take you over there and, and show you the, the new shop. So, fingers crossed. Give me a couple more weeks and we'll be back in business. So, guys, that's really all I've got. I uh, hope you all have, have been having a great uh, Labor Day weekend. For those of you that have off tomorrow, enjoy the, the long weekend. For the, those of you that don't, I'm sorry. I, I'll try to enjoy it for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some day where you got off and I don't, and you can, you can make fun of me. But not that I'm making fun of you. All right, folks, you all take care. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.